<laughs> so this will be the night before Nam. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. It's Wednesday night. It's lighting chat night, and I've got the Nick Aris man with us tonight. Good evening, Nick. Good evening, John. How's it going tonight, man? It is going well. We are... <sighs> Tomorrow is NAM. It's about to kick it off, man. It's great. Oh, man. This, uh, this, is, this is the time of the year that I think I think everyone in the industry is just... You know, it's 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 like Christmas Eve for us us gearheads. Yep. The, it's not not so good for our feet because we do a lot of walking around at Nam, but it's great, great, great time for tech. There's so much cool stuff released, and there's all kinds of new products coming out. And uh, it's, you know, Chave is certainly not void of that. There's like 16 new products at Nam just just in lighting alone. It's just just crazy. Wow. So. That, and and tonight we're going to get a sneak peek to check out a couple of those. I think you've got a couple of those with you tonight, don't you? Yep, I got 3 of them with me tonight. And these are my personal favorites. These are ones that I am really really excited about for 2015. I think are going to make a huge splash this year in in the lighting world. Nice. So, um we've got some really really cool stuff. And actually the first one I want to talk about is is a, a new type of uplighting. And be- a, before we get to that, though, this I mean, for those of watching, this is a world debut. <laughs> no one has seen these lights until right now. Mm-hmm. That's pretty Correct. awesome. Okay, uplighting is a big thing. We we've talked about yep. some of the cool things that yep. you guys have got Gosh, with them. I'm, I'm super excited. You know, so. let's let's jump right into it, man. I'm excited. So um, we're gonna start off with the Slim Beam Quad IRC. Now, I've actually got this light set up back here on the wall behind me. So we're going to move back here kind of towards the setup. And as you can see, this little light sitting down here right on the floor. Yeah. It's a cool little light. And I'm going to actually go and grab it really quick so we can bring it nice and close and take a peek at it. So this light right here is the Slim Beam Quad. It's actually a three LED, and they're quad color, so they're RGB uh, a RGBA, uh, so red, green, blue, and amber, and they're actually kind of like a beam. And you can see they've got little little lenses that kind of stick out the top here. Yep. And those actually project these really cool little circles up on the ceiling. And what I like to do, and what this is, this light was really intended for, was to be put on a wall. And as you can see, as you put them on the wall, they do these really awesome beams up the wall. Now this thing is super bright. Um, I, I believe they're five watts each. And they actually do these really cool beams and patterns, and they can do chases where they jump left to right, and uh, just you know, great color blending with these. You can see there's a little bit of a separation with color, but not not too much. And by the time it gets up the wall, it'll be you don't even notice it anymore. So like right up close, you'll you'll see it, but as it goes up higher, you don't even notice it at all. Tip so the, tip the camera down a little but, bit. How far how far down? So let's see the unit. So you're talking. So here's the unit yeah. itself. Okay, there we go. Now we can get it. and Super- then. This is going up about probably about five to six feet up the wall. Now, I mean, I've seen this thing on walls that are like 10 feet, 15 feet, and it still punches way up the wall. Now, if you you see how the pat, the pattern kind of goes off in a – it almost kind of looks like a peacock. Yeah, kind of. It kind of, kind of looks like that. And it as it comes out, it kind of spreads out in, in one direction or another, and – as it goes higher up the wall, the more coverage you'll get. So you're, you're talking about a light that can cover a huge amount of space with just, just one. You can very easily uh, set up two on either side of the DJ booth. You can set them up all around a room. Um, this is mimicking a look that actually a lot of guys will use uh, with like par cans. We'll just set up three or four par cans on a wall and put different gels in them and shoot them up the wall. It yeah. looks really cool. And this is all combined into one light and as you can see it's doing a really cool chase program right there where it's kind of bouncing along the wall so this this gives you that really cool like color effect while also uh giving you some really cool uh dance and chase patterns for when you know the wedding really gets going or the event really gets going i'm going to go ahead and turn it on to just a co- just a solid color here and this is a white and so you see we got the white going all the way up the wall there really nice good color and uh, you, of course, can choose from the menu. You can choose a lot of different just preset colors, you know, like pinks and warm whites and stuff like that. Uh, and of course, ooh, really nice amber there with the red and the amber. But uh, and then, of course, we've got our built in programs and stuff that we use and uh, just the standard, you know, Chauvet uh, awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> no bias there at all. 
<laughs> no bias, none whatsoever. <laughs> so um, one of the things that I've had a couple of people ask me about with this light is, is what would I do? What, what could I could I do more, or could I do you know? Let's say I set these right next to each other. How would I be able to set that up? Yeah. And so that brings me actually to our next light. Uh, this guy right here, as you can see, I'm hanging here. Yeah. This is the brand new six spot quad IRC. Okay. Now this is a little different than most of the the Chave DJ lights that you'll see out there. This is actually a quad color, but it's RGBW. Okay. And there's a reason we did that. We actually decided that this light could be used as a pin spot for pin spotting cakes, pin spotting, you know, tables, uh, whatever. And, and amber, although it's really nice for warm colors, white really is, is just the best. It, it really is. Oop, and of course, blast the camera right in the face there. <laughs> and, oh, and it's bright it's certainly too. Bright. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly bright. So um, we, of course, have our white LEDs. And I actually set one of those up on the back wall there just so you can see. We oh, got yeah. a nice, really bright white LED spot. And the cool thing about this is you can set this up on a tripod. You can set this up on a on a on like a linear stand, so it's nice and narrow and skinny. Yeah. And of course, it has the uh, blow through hole that you can set onto a tripod stand, so it can go underneath other lights. Like if you've got our Intimidator Spot Duo, you yeah. can put it up on top there, and then it can sit down lower. Um, the really cool thing with this guy is is you can actually uh, make it a pin spot, but then at in the middle of the in the middle of the wedding, or once the the wedding gets kicking in the dance portion, you can start making colors on all the tables and stuff. It's really cool. Um, it comes with a couple of L brackets, so you can actually set it up, uh, you know, on a truss or whatever. Uh -huh. um, just connect it to your your you know your favorite uh, T bar stand. Um, and of course, the heads are all movable. You can move them any direction you want. And it has a DMX. Also has it has IRC in the name. You got this really nice little IRC. Or a receiver. Yes. So you can control it all from an IR remote. Really, really cool stuff. And this thing looks awesome in fog because yeah. it's a very, they're very good color blending. And of course, we've got right now on one color, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on a nice chase program because it looks really cool on chase programs. Um, so it does some really cool chase programs. And in that, in fog, it'll actually do these really cool beams that all color blend really, really well. Hmm. Now, one of the biggest complaints we heard about our six spot was that the LEDs didn't quite blend properly. So what we did is we completely redesigned the head, and you can actually see it. I'm going to show you a real close up here. Um, this is the redesigned head. Yes, it's a completely new housing. It's very pretty, very you know. Um, I, I hesitate to use the word sexy, but you know, I I, I tend to do that. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> but uh, the really cool thing is, is that you can actually get really a lot better color blending out of it, and, and actually get the colors you want. Now, one of the the things that I always like is a good warm white. So I uh, actually don't have it set up here right now, but I do have a really great uh, cool white setup. Now, you remember the white setup from before? Yep. That little dot there is actually making the white. Now, before you would see kind of a little halos kind of showing up around the outside where the colors were yeah and those those colors wouldn't really uh quite blend properly but we have completely nailed that lensing it is perfect now nice so you know, just just keep that you know when, when a lot of people look at this light that's something that they want to you know keep in mind because the, the the lensing and the actual blending of it is so much better than it was before so that's been improved a lot, and of course, the white LED in it is the is to me the biggest selling point because you can use that to pin spot tables. Now, Nick, how bright were those? Uh, these, I believe, also are five watt LEDs. Um, I, I'd have to check on that for you actually because yeah. we're, we're they're just still unofficial. You know, they were showing it at NAM and in like tomorrow, so. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're five watt LEDs. They may be upwards of six, but I, I'll have to get back to you on that. One. We'll we'll um, we'll talk about it. Very, yeah, we'll get more. We'll do more stuff on that. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. So the third and final light, as you can see, there's all kinds of craziness going on. Going behind. on yep. And and you've got two heads moving up here. So um, you remember our Intimidator Spot Duo, correct? Yes. Very popular light. Very popular. One of the things that people really asked for was they, they wanted to have a uh, a spotlight that's that's a little bit more powerful, have a little bit more like a, a wider... Uh, throw on it and you know honestly most people just said why don't you guys just put your intimidator spot 100 or 150 excuse me 150 on a, a thing like the intimidator duo well 
We Ta-da. listened. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> so this right here is the Intimidator Spot, uh, Intimidator Spot Duo 150. And it literally is just two of the 150 heads on one bar. Of course, it's got the blow through like the Intimidator Spot Duo does. Nice. It's got a bracket for clamp mounting. It also has nice little foot pegs if you do want to set it on the ground. Um, it has the master slave programs built in that will actually control multiple units and you can master slave them together for a coordinated show, like an actual coordinated show where, you know, one will go, the next one will go, the next one will go, the next one will go. It's yeah. really, really cool. Um, and of course, since it's still the 150, it's a 25 watt LED. Mm, wow. It's got great gobos in it, you know, actual gobos. You can see them moving around back there behind me. I'm going to turn it a little bit so you can see more of the spots and stuff. But and it's got the color wheel, it's got the gobo wheel, it's just it's got a little and actually here we'll we'll swing it around to the front and you can see it's got the focus on the front so you can actually focus it out wherever you'd like. Yeah. And of course it's got power linking on the top, it's got DMX in and a, a great display and and a, on a sound active mode as well. So sound active is is so much fun on these because they react and move to the sound. And mm-hmm. these ones have these you know awesome programs built into them and since they're connected together they work together with that sound mode. So it's really, really cool. <clears throat> Sweet. So, yeah, that thing is really, really going to be a lot of fun. And uh, we, we got a whole bunch of them at, uh, at NAM, and it's going to be a lot of fun to see. No, I'm, I'm excited because I, I can't get in today, but tomorrow mm-hmm. I will be in. And we're gonna we're gonna put pictures up so people can see these things. We're gonna put up we'll put up some more teaser videos tomorrow from the booth so they can see a, a, a whole the whole wall. It'll be Absolutely. awesome. Yeah, those, the, the booth itself is, is going to be really cool, and there's a very special motion orb display that you're going to see uh, tomorrow that we'll show off. That's going to be something you won't see anywhere else on the, on the floor, anywhere. <laughs> so it's really, really cool. Ah, looking forward to that. So for those of you watching tonight, tomorrow you'll have to go to – you'll check out our YouTube, the youtube.com slash news. We'll have the videos going up throughout NAM for the whole – all four days of NAM. But tomorrow we're going to have some of these brand new – there's 16. May not be able to get all of them tomorrow. We'll, get, we'll shoot the videos, but you know we don't want to bombard you guys with too many videos. But we'll get some of the stuff up, and you can check it out. It's great stuff. Nick, I'm excited. You need to go and get yourself to bed because, well, you know, we're shooting tomorrow. You got a long day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, Nick. We'll see you tomorrow. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. If you have any questions, put those in the comments down below, and we can address those in one of our upcoming shows. And uh, we'll uh, looking forward to bringing you more from them tomorrow. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. Good night.